right. So, um, hmm. bit of a bit of a catch up because I had a bit of a fair amount of interest on the video I did on making my surface plate, which uh, was oh blimey, that was a while back now. I've had a few emails and uh, you know, quite a few people, have, quite a few people have asked me questions. Um, so let's see where we're at. So first off. I'm about as good as I can get on this particular surface plate with the tools that I've got to uh, to make it. It's not so much a question of being able to grind finer than I am. I can. Um, I'm down to about a hundredth of a millimetre. Well, I'm within a hundredth of a millimetre over the whole surface, apart from a couple of spots in the corners. Um, there's a slight low spot here. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can. Uh, there's, a soft spot, there's a soft spot in the granite here. Um, that's low by about five microns. Um, there's a there's a big low spot in one corner, but that's, that's way outside the usable part. Um, so I'm I'm yeah I'm within a hundredth of a millimeter. It's good enough for me. Um, it's actually got to the point now where measuring takes far more time than grinding. Um, I'm measuring on a six centimeter grid all the way across the. There. I'm measuring on a six centimetre grid using a level placed on a table, on a little movable table here, which is on three hardened, uh, three hardened points, um, so triangulated. Um, that six centimetre grid means that every set of measurements takes about an hour um, to do a full set of measurements so that I can get decent readings it takes about six hours because I have to take five measurements of each station, throw away the highest and the lowest, average the rest. It's an enormous amount of work. This is because I have a five hundredths of a millimetre per metre level. My level is not accurate enough. I need to find myself a more accurate level if I want to go lower than that. I'm within, I'm within the margins of error basically, um, which is why the measuring is taking so much time. Um, that's fine. I don't need to go any lower than that unless it's just for completeness. Um, I've been playing with it quite a lot, um, been using it. I've got, a, I've got another project on the go at the moment. Um, I've been playing with what's known as the, uh, the Russian rectifier, um, which is an angle grinder with a, with a sanding disc. The technique is exactly the same as scraping. Um, you take your piece of crap steel, um, you ink up your ink up your surface plate, you mark it, and then you use an angle grinder with a, with a sanding disc to to remove stuff. It'll get you down to something that's within scraping range very rapidly. It's much faster than pissing about with a file. Um, for my test pieces here, it's actually good enough. I'm making a, a little a little a little slide slider slide arrangement. Um, I'm going to be making quite a big slide arrangement um, that will be scraped. I'm waiting for the material to do it at the moment. Um, the software that I have developed to, to do this, which is not uh, it's not particularly complex, it's up on my GitHub. There's a link in the previous video's comments. Um, it's BSD licensed. It will run on any computer that can run a JavaScript enabled browser. It runs purely locally. It doesn't save anything. Um, I couldn't be asked to write the to write the ex the export import stuff again. Um, I threw away the stuff that does uh, that does or was starting to do the Moody measurement. Moody measurement works on diagonals, uh, diagonals, and uh, one two one two three one two three, and then two diagonals. Um, not because it's not valid. It's still perfectly valid. It's as valid as it was when, uh, when Moody invented it in the 1950s. But in the 1950s, computers were not as powerful as they are now. You can actually get a far better resolution, a better idea of what's going on on your plate, measuring with a grid. The math is basically exactly the same. Um, it's just a question of how many measurements you take. Um, Moody's thing is that it's basically it's designed for work to work with an autocollimator as well, which is something that most people don't have lying around, unless you're Tom from Ox Tools, I guess. 
Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, surface plate. It's uh, bloody handy. Um, it was quite a lot of work, but uh, for the money, you can't do better, I don't think. Um, I probably should have gone for black granite if I could find some, because this stuff does stain. Um, I'm using uh, Prussian blue to mark, and you'll notice that it is quite blue. Um, that's what it is. It's no big deal. It doesn't bother me at all. So, there you go. Catch you later, guys. Bye.